That's a dying space. You should try to see that space. You can see how they die. It's fun. How cool is this? Well, good morning, you guys. New day. Finally buying my roller skates today. Starting the classes in a few days. So that's number one. We're gonna go to a stationery shop. Finally shooting the Europe unboxing video today. So I'm so excited it's gonna be a part of the vlog. But if I keep talking like this, I just cannot even achieve one thing. So let's go. Shabs is here, Shabs is here, Shabs is here. I came to like the sexiest, poshest skating classes. <laughs> How do we go? It's so posh that we have to fly. <laughs> So you know what, I'm sending out a couple of uh, Miss Momo garments <laughs> to my friends who are such independent women. This one is going to DJ Kushi. She is based out of Mumbai, but she's a very popular Indian lady DJ. It's named after one of the ambassadors from the 15 women called the Kimi. She wore it for the first time. So that's one of the thing about my brands. I name it after the ladies who wears it for the very first time. Oh, the rhinestone skirt. Oh, this is the coil skirt. It's actually one of my most favorites because of the fabric that it is. Like, any stone fabric makes it look good and we kind of made it sexy by making it a Where did you wear it first? Transparent. Yes, and I launched this skirt in Eiffel Tower in Paris. Because you know the Eiffel Tower in the evening start blinking and the reflection on the skirt was making it so gorgeous. Like I looked like an Eiffel Tower. You can still look like one. Just DM us to order it. fucking reason you dumb bitch you're not allowed to do this like why don't indians just follow things the guy would have just died and the funny part is this guy wouldn't make eye contact with me because he knows he's guilty this part of bangalore makes me feel like i'm in delhi or something that guy's pani puri is really good come i can't do a competition but i'll eat pani puri he's good yeah he's good what why is he saying excuse just me? avoid we Why call mother, going? sister, whatever you avoid. You know, there was a time when I was so, so, so lean. Everything that I keep on my pants, I used to like take my pants down. But no, it's not happening now, don't get excited. <laughs> Shit. Today I'm gonna do tip with tip with but it's not funny. Stationery! I'll dump this one now that I found this one. Good yeah, see, so nice. I'll tell you something. Yeah, I know. I, I saw it. <laughs> that is so dumb of people to do it. Like in a business, you know, in a clothing business, Gautam. especially. Gautam what's will buy most, Gautam will get uh, it done for What's us. most important is the rate that you're selling your clothes for, right? So you want to make the best quality clothes and sell it in the least amount of money so that people can buy it. In order to do that, you have to get the right sourcing. By sourcing, we mean people who you're buying the fabrics from. Bangalore is a very expensive city to source fabrics from. So today, <laughs> the guys that I was sourcing the fabric from gave me their phone for a minute to kind of see some fabrics. You was and very I stole bad the number part. <laughs> of the guy that they are sourcing from. For me, at least I will keep the 450 on a contact. Uh, now, instead uh. of keeping this contact, see, this, no, no, you make this to for do me it. is an emergency. So excited, let's do this. Unboxing has been long due, so finally doing it. This is 
all again the Europe unboxing uh, in my 35 day vacation two months ago. I'm only doing the makeup, the bags and the shoes today. The clothes, you're gonna keep it for another day. So I got four bags from this trip. This one is a white handbag from Chanel. The cutest thing is like one of it which says Chanel all throughout, I absolutely love it. Then I got myself a Jackie Moose. This one, I'm sure you all would have seen it. It's one of the most common bags, 70,000 Indian rupee. So I think compared to the other premium bags, which is like two and a half, three and a half lakh. This one, I understand why everyone kind of likes it. Okay, so for the third bag, this one's from Louis Vuitton. I never explored like the secondhand market ever for bags because I was one of those people who were like, no, I only want brand new. And I'm so happy I broke that barrier. Look how cute and chic this Louis Vuitton bag is, it's like in a turquoise with like a great brown leather belt. It looks so awesome. I love the shape of it. I don't have like a cylindrical bag. This bag, I think retail is around two and a half lakhs. Can you believe the price I got it for is 30,000 Indian rupees in a secondhand luxury bag store in Paris. The last bag uh, is from Versace. This one is so cute. I just love the way it's made. It kind of looks like a dress, but it's not. And opens up like a flower. You can fit in like your lipstick, your keys, your lip glosses, all the little things you need. Uh, right, it's a cute sling around it. So those were the bags uh, for shoes. I got around nine pairs of shoes, but I'm only about to show about five or six. My first Uggs. This is again, very well priced, perfect pair of shoes for a Euro tour because of the kind of weather conditions they have there. Uh, the other one is this real cute flip flops from Gucci. The fur and everything is so cute. And the last one, these I looked for for a very long time. I know right now like runners, which are a little elevated, are so in trend. You wear them with shorts, you wear them with like body cons. They're really one of the most comfortable runners I've ever worn. Nobody beats the smell of Victoria's Secret, bro. This one is, is like my real favorite. It's a shimmer your body mist. Like you just put it on and wipe it and then you have like the whole glitter, perfect for beach, nightclubs. Okay, starting with makeup. Let's quickly get to the foundations that I really, really use. Not available in India. It's my most favorite foundation. I got a lot of that. Is the NARS. Like this one is their long lasting 16 hour matte foundation. This one though, I do agree is like from their Dewey foundation collection I absolutely love these these are like what I wear every day this one is more of a concealer than a foundation uh, from Too Faced born this way what an excellent foundation to be used as like an highlighter when you want to brighten up like the eye area and the below area at the end okay so for the concealers I got quite a few uh, this one I have really never tried before but I like it I've used it about once or twice but I've heard such good things about Tarte but this is my go-to regular foundation the NARS I use this shade caramel I got again seven and eight of these because I literally wear this concealer almost every day Two liquid blush so one is basically peach and the other one is the is the shade pink but look at this texture like the whole formula is like it's, it's really really nice this one is peach so if you see the color variants but these girls are like the go-to products please 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 try them you are you're going to thank me for this now coming to this is the first time I'm trying like milk, 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 milk. There's a lot of milk, but let me quickly take you through what's what. This one is like your eyeshadow primer. So before putting your eyeshadow, put this on. It avoids creases and all of that. It's a fantastic product. Again, you guys love it. This one is your setting spray. Like it's hydrating setting spray. I forever love the Smashbox, but now I'm almost transitioning to milk. This is your primer again, milk. I got the primer, the eyeshadow primer, and the finishing spray from Milk. So this one again is, is silicone. Another product I got is your Huda Beauty Contour. It's called the uh, Tantor. Although it's for your contouring, it's called the Tantor if I'm not wrong. That's it, this is great for your contouring, for Indian skin type. They have like all shades for all different skin types, quite honestly, but great stuff from Huda. My most favorite product, your Charlotte Tilbury Compact Powder. Uh, you literally need maybe one for three months, but do it. If you want to avoid sweating in your T-zone, this is your this is your stuff. So, you know I wanted a hat and I wanted a good hat. So the only brand that could do that was Chanel. This is like my most favorite out of everything that I bought. Even makeup, like it beats all my makeup. I think it goes with what I'm wearing today is your bucket hat from uh, Christine Dior. I'm so glad I finally at least showed you guys 50%. I've been promising like my mostly my Instagram. <laughs> followers like friends and fam that I'm gonna be doing this for so so long and I finally did it I'm so happy but we'll come back to you guys with my clothes very very soon until then keep hoping that I can work harder and make more money and buy more stuff
I did promise you guys that we will continue the Europe unboxing because the clothes had to be a separate section altogether. So much hard work and so many stuff that we had to do it separately. But let's get started.